China has established itself as the leading supplier of caviar in the world. Kaluga Queen, responsible for a third of global production, claims to have supplied its produce to the likes of the Queen and Kim Jong-un, with plans to go public next year at an estimated £600 million valuation. Our Asia correspondent Tom Cheshire got a closer look at the industry. This fish is worth more than a Ferrari, not just because of its good looks. They're sturgeon, and inside each one is a small fortune in caviar. And what's even more surprising is that they're not Russian. These fish are Chinese. This is Qian Daohu, Thousand Island Lake, 220 miles southwest of Shanghai. And it's home to Kaluga Queen, China's first homegrown caviar company. It was set up by officials who worked in the Chinese Ministry of Agriculture in 2003. Good timing. It was just as countries announced bans on fishing wild sturgeon, the traditional method of production in the Caspian Sea. This isn't just a story about the unexpected origins of some very expensive fish. This is about China's global reach and ambition. 15 years ago, China didn't have a caviar industry. Now it's the world's biggest producer. And these farms alone account for nearly a third of total production. It's what happens when Chinese business, with the approval of the state, sets out to conquer the world. And it does it without the world even really noticing. Like other types of farming, caviar involves wrangling. These are new additions to the lake. Once the fingerlings, technical term for baby fish, have grown up enough, they live here for three or four years. Then they're taken onto land. And this is where you can see the true scale of the operation. When they're eight years old, 15 years for the more expensive species, they have enough eggs. And they end up here. The fish are cut open and their eggs extracted before the fish is killed and used for food. The eggs are cleaned, inspected, salted, and then they become caviar ready to be flown to the 25 countries Kaluga Queen supplies. The whole process, from first cut to caviar in a tin, takes 15 minutes. First one is the Siberian sturgeon. And this is the result. Caviar that's ended up on the tables of both the Queen yeah, and yeah. Kim Jong-un, according to the company's head of international sales. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sky News did its journalistic duty and sampled the goods. Uh, in the beginning, they, they are surprised because caviar China, is, is, they never heard about caviar from China. Uh, they have many doubts about the uh, quality, about uh, the safety. And although COVID has meant international sales have dropped 20% this year, Galuga has focused on the 1.4 billion strong Chinese market to make up the shortfall. We did a lot of promotion to introduce and the caviar culture to the Chinese people. Now more and more people start to consume caviar and uh, like caviar, to be uh, caviar friends. <laughs> it seems to be working. Kaluga Queen is planning to go public next year, the valuation of around 600 million pounds, plotting a course through Chinese waters to global domination. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Qiandao Lake, East China.